Let's do a few examples related to finding the total surface area. And let's start off with a pyramid here. Notice that I've broken down the areas into their different components. So the first thing we're going to do is get the area of the base here. So the base of our shape right here is a regular hexagon. Notice we're told that here, and we can certainly see that it's a hexagon by counting up the number of sides. So let's first find the area of that. So this is kind of a review from a couple of days ago in class. The area of any regular polygon is apothem times side length times number of sides divided by two. And we're given those components in this particular problem. We're told that the apothem is 5.2. So 5.2 times the side length, which we're told is 6. And we're told that the number of sides, of course, since it's a hexagon, is 6 divided by 2. So punching that in, we get 93.6. So the area is 93.6. I guess there aren't any specific units on here, which is unfortunate. So we're still going to use generic square units. So that is the area of our base. Next thing we're going to do is get the area of one lateral side. So when I say lateral side, again we're talking about the triangular regions around the side. So maybe I'll just outline this one for instance, right here. And we're going to just sketch that out down below here. So here's our triangle. We know that the base of that triangle is the side length on the base of our hexagon here. And the base of our pyramid, but the side length of the hexagon right here, remember, was 6. So we know that that base of our triangle is 6. Now the other thing that we're told back in the problem up top here is that the L is 9. So remember, L stands for slant height. So slant height is... Basically the height of the triangle, if you take that out, it's the distance from the vertex perpendicular to the base of that triangle. So we actually do know this distance right here, the height of the triangle, which is 9, because that is the slant height of our pyramid. So therefore, the area of one of those lateral sides is, since it is a triangle, and of course since this is 90 degrees, then we have the base and the height. So area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the area would be base of 6 times height of 9 divided by 2. So that would be 54 divided by 2. And that leaves us an area of 27 square units for one of those triangles. Now, how many triangles are there? Well, of course, since it is a hexagonal pyramid, there are six sides of the base, and therefore six of those triangles all the way around. And they're all congruent triangles, since it is a regular hexagon. So therefore, the area of all of the lateral sides will be 27 times 6, because there are six of those triangles, and that is 162 square units. So our grand total area then, we have Our area of our base, which was 93.6, plus the area of all the lateral sides, which were 162. And if we add those together, we get 255.6 square units. Sorry for kind of going off of the line there, but 255.6 square units.